we're really going to do a pretty good job of keeping right. most folks dry for a good bit. And you might have some scattered showers, but it doesn't look like we're going to have a lot of storms along with those showers, at least on Saturday. So I'm happy about that. And we start off tomorrow just fine. Today has been dry. Great kickoff for the concerts that were held this evening. Now tomorrow we've got 12 stages open and the gates are opening at 930 in the morning. So as you're heading out in the morning hours, you're going to need to layer up. It's going to be on the cooler side. We're going to have clouds, variable winds at times, but there's not a strong wind. You've got clouds off and on and a good bit of sunshine. I think that'll peak through too. by late afternoon. You're near 70 and so staying dry through most of the evening. I think maybe if we get a sprinkle, we would be lucky. You look at Saturday, though, we do have a chance of showers. A lot of this is going to move in overnight and then maybe a few afternoon scattered showers. It doesn't look like it'll be an all day event. I think some folks will have a chance to dry out and then on Sunday. This is an afternoon and evening time frame for those storms, so it's really shaping up to be a better weekend overall for everybody. Temperatures though may be a little cooler on Saturday, depending on the placement of our front and the Kobe Fest 2022, which is the a celebration of black excellence. This is going to happen in Greensboro and Davie Street. Temperatures there also in the upper 60s on Saturday and again, similar conditions. These are going to be widely scattered. Shouldn't cancel your outdoor plans, but definitely plan on seeing some soggy conditions potentially where it has rained overnight on Saturday morning. Our low temperatures improve. We're milder into next week and for the spring temperatures too. After cooler temperatures on Saturday, we really respond well to those 80s and that warm front that lifts in and thunderstorm possibilities may again pop up for Tuesday too and late Monday night. We'll keep you posted on that. But this front here is going to stretch out overhead once we get you into Saturday. We'll also see a few more clouds building through the day tomorrow. Right now we've got maximum highs from today at 72 Greensboro, 73 in Burlington, hot spot of 74 in Winston-Salem. Temperatures now cooling down to 61 in Greensboro. We're at 59 Winston-Salem and 52 North Wilkesboro. A little cooler at 53 in Galax. Tomorrow morning you're going to have a chance to see some of those planets lining up again. Jupiter, Venus, Mars, and Saturn. Something to see and of course we're in that new moon phase so the crescent moon that was sitting there over the last couple of nights no longer with us but we've got 46 degrees tomorrow morning and some folks might only dip down into those upper 40s so we may be a little bit warmer than even this we've got you at 65 through lunchtime 71 to near 72 late day and 44 degrees in the foothills mix of sun and clouds should not really keep our temperatures down a whole lot this air mass has had a chance to moderate we have a ridge of high pressure aloft and at the surface and so temps are going to be okay tomorrow mountains near 42 degrees warming into the low 60s, so pretty comfortable overall and a rain chance of 20% once we get you into late day. And these are going to be very widely scattered, a stray shower or two possible, but not likely for most folks. You can see here we get you into Friday afternoon. A couple of those isolated showers look to go west first and that ridge aloft kind of takes some of those shower chances and builds it around that ridge aloft and dies it down south with some of these little waves of energy as we get you into Saturday morning. So it looks like widely scattered showers. And if that front lines up for us as we get you through the day, it could trigger a few more showers, but it looks like some folks will have a chance to dry out off and on. You'll have some shower chances through the afternoon, but not a completely soggy forecast as we were anticipating. We could see a couple pockets of heavy rain, but I think most folks are just going to see lighter rainfall to start. And then by Sunday, we're dry and we're warmer. We've got a little bit of sunshine that'll pump in here. Thunderstorms, though, might be become more active once we get you to the evening hours and late day. So periods of scattered rain. We've got impact days for rain chances above 50%. It doesn't mean everyone sees the rain right, right away, but it does mean that we have those rain chances. So be ready and prepared to check WXI 12's news app as we talk about thunderstorms and some lightning returning too early next week. Look at those 80s out there. Ah, oh, nice to have some 80s returning. It'll be nice and steamy, though, as we increase humidity too.